this uh, illustration that you see, this is a three-dimensional part of the software. So it's trying to help you uh, build up into that. So when you take a look at this <coughs> cube or square, the bottom four objects can be done with it. The top ones have to be uh, created in a little bit different way. So just make sure that you have the layer uh, locked and a layer above it to work on. And uh, when you zoom into this, I'll try to show you this piece. So this one, you have to actually draw from the shapes. So just going to use a solid blue piece to make that piece. That's just making that section. You can't really use the three-dimensional surface on that. And the same coming across this way. I'm going to overlap it just to show it to you. And let this one be a little bit uh, darker. Actually, let me do this one darker for you. So you can see the overlap of the two in the shift key can make this. So just as you're putting some illustrations together, if I drag and drop it in there, it'll take the foreground color that you pick and you can set when you double click the icon of the tool, these layers, so it'll fill it with this piece as it goes through. So these are where you can set all the uh, solutions for that. <clears throat> so it's kind of a nice, nice approach. But this is just using the pen tool and this is an anchor point that purple is the smart guide telling me that I'm right on top of those pieces there. And that gives me that selection to it. Once the color is highlighted, you can double click into it. It'll take you to the color picker, which is a good modification to, to illustrate. So you can start to get used to using some of those colors in the color palettes that open up to swatches and the color guides. These give you tints and shades of the color so you can uh, lightly place them in there. <clears throat> you can also use start to use the gradient, but when you see this graphic separate from everything, there's kind of an illusion, maybe you can't see it too well, but along these edges is where it gets darker against a lighter color, and trying. so I'm trying to get you to see as you go through your um, sections on the pieces. So you can do the gradient as well. Here's the gradient tool, and the gradient editor is just a window that comes up into the into the side. So as soon as you pick on this, it'll go to its default. You can uh, take colors and drag and drop them onto here. It gives you this selection depending on how how dark. And again, you can double click them from here to set the coloring. You can take colors off of this color bar to extend it. So if I take this one off, it goes from there. And then in this little window here, you can set it and you can save it at the bottom. And what happens is it shows up into your swatches panel. This bar that you see now, you can start to use as the gradient tool. I showed a little bit of it before. You can stretch it out. You can click and move it all together. You can stretch and make a new one. Click the opposite direction just to start to shade into that piece. Nice thing is you can select this one, select it right from the color bar, and use the gradient tool again. And this way you can start to edit it using these tools. So if this is the same value, I may, may want to have this a little bit lighter up at the top so I can adjust this. You can uh, move these pieces. You can stretch it out with this. You can move it with this part so that you can get that color value uh, that you're trying to achieve. <clears throat> if I click on this again with this gradient, here's the gradient tool. And maybe I want it to go this direction, but I want it to be much lighter at the top. So I could either adjust it from here to move these pieces, rotating it, or just uh, dragging it from this particular side. So that becomes the shape. Again, you can double click or click into this side to get these color segments. And you can also drop, drop these off. So it's just to, just to get you started on the first uh, selection onto that. And again, it lets you move that into it. And that's the, that's the shape for it. <clears throat>